Hi guys, this is Martin and I'm going to show you how I made this image. So this is a very nice photo of a BMW M3. The starting image is this one. As you can see it's still, so it's not moving at all. And we making we make it run on this beautiful road. Okay. So let's start. So this is the photo, the starting point, yes. And the first thing we are going to do is to apply the spin blur. So we are going to move the wheels. So I will call this layer spin blur. Then I will right click and convert to smart object. The reason why I am converting to smart object is because I later maybe I wanted to, to edit the properties of the filter applied. So it's a good idea to convert the layers on in smart objects. So let's apply the filter. Filter blur gathering spin blur. Now when you open the spin blur, Photoshop show up this this thing here and uh, I'll just disable the preview and I will drag this, these points to fit the wheel yes like this now I will turn on the preview and I just adjust the spin blur properties here in blur angle something like 13 is it's nice these these things just um, helps you to wider and or close the the spread of the blur so something like this is I think is working well now let's let's go here let's click in the center of the wheel and do exactly the same if you feel your machine is struggling in applying the filter just turn off the preview and work without the preview turn it on Once you are done, just click on preview again, so you can see the filter, maybe a little bit less, something like 13, yes, now it's working better, and something like this. Now I will turn off the preview and turn on the high quality. Now let's click on OK. And in a while we have a very nice and bird wheels. Great. So now let's do the motion blur. Let's copy the BMW layer, call it main blur and put it about the spin blur. Let's convert again in convert to smart objects and let's apply filter, blur gallery path blur now when you open the path blur you will see this path as you can see it's going from left to right that's the exact direction we need so let's put it one here and one point at the end we can adjust this this point to create a nice round shape and we can set the speed speed something like 88 is working well we step up to 10 I don't really know what this means but seems like like when you put it around 10 the, 
the overall effects is more realistic and turn off the center blur when you are doing something like a moving car it's always a good idea to turn out the center blur the center blur uh, makes makes the, the 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 same amount of blur on your own left and side so if you if you just turn it off you will see a nice motion blur okay so let's do again one here one here let's click again here to interrupt this this sh this path and move it a little bit now we can click on one point and adjust the end point speed maybe a little bit less and these are one little bit more maybe not less that's great and another one something like here great remember that the speed value is uh, is applied to the whole image so to uh, the speed the all these three paths have the same speed okay so the only thing you can really adjust is the end end point speed cool so now let's turn off the preview let's click on high quality and click ok right now we have this very nice motion blur but the main problem is that in uh, this kind of photos you always see the image in focus so let's do a selection of, of the car with your pen tool and just apply the, the mask on it so something like this okay I previously created a mask here's my mask okay so I, I I just command clicked on the alpha channel I've created and I I just fill with black this smart layer mask so now I see the car in focus the only problem I have is here I don't want to see this motion blur so I found a solution for the thing uh, I thought how can I solve this and I thought about something like inverse blur unfortunately in Photoshop we don't have uh, an inverse blur so here is how we can do an inverse blur just copy the layer call it inverse blur put it under the main blur deselect the main blur open open the smart filter properties and double click on blur gallery now we access to our old blur as you can see the blur is going from left to right we need to in to inverse this so just drag the final point on the starting point don't worry if it's not exactly the same point here it is just try to be as much accurate as you can but no worry if it's not the same point here we are something like that now as you can see the blur is going from right to left and not from left to right okay so let's click OK again Photoshop is applying and now we can see we have a very nice blur but it's all the way left now turn on again the main blur level layer let's create a folder call it main blur and 
we will put our main blur layer inside the main blur folder. Let's create a mask here. Now take a brush, a very soft brush, black color, flow about 40%. and just brush a little bit here in the way to just clean this this area a little bit something like this is working perfect as you can see in, uh, in creating all these blurs we uh, we lost our spin blur so we need to go again to the main blur folder mask we will something like this brush 47 pixels and just and just paint with a black color on the wheels now I will turn on again the inverse blur, I will apply the mask here and do exactly the same. Here it is. Okay guys, so now our car is moving quite fast. As you can see, boom, boom, great. Now let's do the windows black because we don't have a person inside the car, so it's like driving itself, it's not realistic. So let's darken the windows. So just command, click on my alpha channel. Here's my window. And I can use a gradient. I will set a black color. I will choose this gradient, this one, which goes from black to nothing. And just drag it over here, something like this. Something like this is working fine. Now I will select with the pen tool this other this other window. To just drag these things around. If you don't know how to use this, just click and drag, click and drag, press Alt and adjust click command click here alt and adjust make selection and now we can just boom something like this boom something like this okay I don't like the effect I will just change the color of this thing I think like yo something like this I will create new layer I will take a darker color with a very low flow and just paint a little bit of dark here. And we will do exactly the same in this area. So drag, alt, adjust, drag, alt, adjust, drag. Like something like this make selection, create new layer and just paint a little bit inside, something like this. Yes, something like this is definitely working. Now the color, how I add the flare. So let's go here, adjustment layer, gradient. Let's click inside this, this area. So these little cubes will will tell you which color are you going to use. So something maybe like this or something more creative like this. Boom, boom. And these cubes will tell you how big is the opacity, the transparency of that color. So everything on 
Now we don't want the linear, linear, we want the radial and we want the reverse. We want to reverse, yeah, something like this. And something like this, we want to create something like a sun, okay? So some, some kind of bluish sun. Great. Okay, okay. Now change the blending mode from normal to screen. Yes. And right click on the layer and rasterize layer. Command T and just make it bigger and put it somewhere here. Something like this is is working quite fine. Now let's duplicate the layer, put it here, and let's change the color. Something like this can work. Turn down the opposite a little bit as well here. Now let's create a curves adjustment layer. Make a little bit of contrast. Something like just just a tiny thing, nothing fancy. Great. Now adjustment layer color lookup. Let's change something cool fall colors or um, film stock or draw blues or just just choose whatever you you really like some something with which you are happy i like this fuji this fuji eterna it's quite nice i will put down a little bit the opacity and change from normal to color. In this other example I've used different colors and uh, as a uh, color lookup I used late sunset. So let's see what will happen with late sunset. Late sunset. It was something like this. Okay. So now we are going for Fuji Eterna, something like this. Okay, now let's create another adjustment layer with selective color. Go to neutrals and just adjust the colors again. Just, just go for what you feel in your gut. Don't think too much about the, this thing. Just, just go for what, what, what you what you feel. Okay. So something like this. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Maybe this one is working better for me. Great. Now Command Alt Shift E. We, I'll create a copy of everything. Filter, sharpen, unsharp mask. This setting is working for me. Radius one, amount thirty six, maybe thirty seven. And uh, let's select again car and apply this. Uh, this. This sharpen only on on the car. So here is nice motion blur with a very nice color tone. Okay. So I hope it helped, guys. If you have any question, feel free to leave a comment. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Twitter and uh, see you on the next tutorial. Bye.